But what a victory that turns out to be for Newcastle, who had just before the international break lost, of course, at Bournemouth. And on paper, St James's Park, we know obviously is a very difficult place for any team to go to. But just because of the injuries that Newcastle had had and that sort of sticky patch that they had at Bournemouth, Chelsea going well in their last two games previously... You could have you could have thought that Chelsea could have got something out of that game, but it certainly was not the case. Newcastle were brilliant. Yeah, coming out with the game, you, you do think to yourself that is a punch on the on the chin for Chelsea. Yeah. Just when you think they're starting to make some starting progress. Yeah, yeah. It, and and you do say to yourself, if ever was a good time to play Newcastle, it was yesterday mm-hmm. with all the injuries they've got. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Isaac's back. I like him. I think he scored his seventh or eighth goal yesterday. He's been out for I think a couple of months. I think it was a knee injury, had, didn't he? He was he's out for a couple of months, but Anthony Gordon's playing well, very well. Um, Joe Linton seems to be crowd favourite at, at the moment. He's 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 not scored as many goals as he would have liked, but he's getting up and down the pitch. You know, he's he's like a big, strong was midfield gro- player. Injury was it groin? Had. Yeah, great finish. It was, I, I forget the young lad's name who's put him in, but. Lewis well Miley, which actually I've just Lewis had a, Miley, a tweet yeah. about this. I say tweet, I don't know what you call it these days. But uh, Lee, who's a Newcastle fan, just wanted to say a big shout out for Lewis Miley. 17 years young, local lad, great assist. And it was a great assist, the way he played him in. I mean, you could question the marking of Chelsea because Isak is unmarked. Uh, but I've heard that Newcastle are very excited about this Lewis Miley. Well, can you imagine when he was 16, he must have been playing on a park pitch. <laughs> yeah, it I must have been, and then know, you're playing yeah, in front of fifty-two thousand people. Yeah, and probably t- because and take to it like a duck to water. Well, sometimes it, they don't even know what's happening to them. They just see a football pitch. Yeah, yeah, and they don't realise the the situation, and they just play. Um, but for him to see that pass to Isaac, brilliant. I mean, That's Isaac beautiful. would would I guarantee you, Isaac would say to him afterward, like they would all be going round patting him on the back. Mm. But Anthony Gordon's playing well. Very well. He's got the bit between his t- teeth. He's working harder. He's running around slide tackling and, you know, the crowd love him. Uh, but I've said, Newcastle is a train to success. You've got to get on the train. If I was a footballer now, I'd be joining Newcastle if I could. Really? You, you know where they're heading. you just feel there's an excitement and a buzz about yeah, the club. Yeah, the crowds, I've been there. The crowd's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, of course you yeah. have. There's yeah. like 10,000 stood outside the ground just listening to the game mm. from outside, mm. trying to get a glimpse. Everyone's got a shirt. Most people in Newcastle only go to work to buy a season ticket. They love it. Football, football, football. Um, really passionate. And, I mean, it is the, the, the atmosphere in the ground's unbelievable. Mm. I, I've stood mm. in the technical area. Mind you, I think the players might have been doing it on purpose. I'm shouting instructions <laughs> on and they're just not hearing me, but I think they might be <laughs> doing it on purpose. But um, Eddie Howe, doing a great job. Yeah. Without actually... It's not easy when you say, go on, put together a multi-million pound team for us. We've got loads of money. Go on, go on try and put it yeah, together. Yeah, but it's not like they've really massively no. overspent either, obviously, because they're doing it the right way and they're bringing in players, like we saw in the first sort of season that Eddie Howe came in, bringing players with Premier League experience. Um, but they've got yeah. cutting edge, Nat. Yeah. They have got cut. You know, you see teams that flatter to deceive. Mm-hmm. They're good, like, keep the ball well, lovely. But Newcastle, they've got, they hurt you from all angles. Well, it was a terrific afternoon for Newcastle. We mentioned Joe Linton. He scored in the game. Jamal Lascelles, who, let's not forget, at one stage it looked like he might not really feature for Newcastle. Injury sort of has seen his him play his way into the team, but he's done brilliantly since he got in there. I think they're into double figures, Newcastle, with their injuries. So very impressive that they could score four against a Chelsea side that were below par. I mean, defensively, they looked out all over the place. What you do this morning? Now, Pochettino. He's actually come out and said they've not worked hard enough. That is yeah. that Damning. is a risky statement to make when you're not winning. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.